so many of us have an understanding or a personal connection to the Windrush generation. Mm. But I wanted you to tell me about what personally inspired you to create the artworks that you have about them. Oh my goodness, uh, where'd you start? I mean, obviously I have to start at home, my mother, um, my dear departed mother, um, Clarice Agatha Reed. Um, she passed away this year, unfortunately, and I've dedicated the uh, Tilbury Bridge Walkway of Memory to her. Um, but because that essentially, um, it came out of a conversation I was having with her and I was talking to her about, you know, obviously as you're young, you, I'm the second to youngest and I'm saying, you know, where did I come from? How did we get here? You know, all those sort of types of questions you ask your parents. And I just felt, and she, when she just she said, look, I want to write a book, what I went through in this country. And when you sat down and listened, I just went and grabbed the, the first thing. I just go, went and got a tape recorder. I had I always have a tape recorder with me. And so I always grab a, so I just grabbed my tape recorder and I said, mom, just, just tell me, talk to me about your, your life, you know? And she had a hard life in this country. Um, with my father, lots of domestic abuse, um, lots of stuff going on. And I grew up in that environment, of viol a lot of violence around us. But she, she battled through that. She worked for the NHS. And, I, and when I sort of completed her story, I, I kind of, it dawned on me. It was about 2007. So before the whole Windrush kind of incident happened politically. Uh, kind of exploded. I kind of decided that, you know, so when I when I completed that interview, I thought, oh my goodness, there's this whole community, there's this whole, um, there's, a, there's all these elders, uh, all of them are getting old and they're, they're, they're dying and they're leaving us without any legacy. They're leaving us without their stories. And uh, I, I thought, well, my, you know, I'm a, I'm a practicing artist, so I, I sculpt, I paint, you know, I'm, I make installation art. But I just felt, you know, it was important that I sort of took, take, to take a little bit of time out just to go and find out who these people are because we're losing them, you know? These are pioneers, you know, people who, if we, without them, they built the foundation of this country, not just the, the, the black people, for black people, but for everyone. So um, that was kind of the inspiration and the, the beginning of that, that journey to find where these people were, who are they, get, you know, call them, find them, um, and record them. That's more important thing, record their stories. And not necessarily photographically, which I did, but recorded their, their, their voices speaking in their own words, in their own, on their terms. So that was the beginning of um, sort of like a four year, a four year journey. So we've literally done a, an installation almost every year. Yeah. Yes. Um, so yes, the the one that was meant to you know open physically um, yeah. into sure. obviously mm. has been postponed because of um, COVID nineteen. But I know there is a preview online. But I wondered mm. if you could tell me about how this particular installation came together, the Tilbury Bridge Walkway of Memories. Walk of Memories, Tilbury Bridge Walkway of Memories. I mean, that's one of the. If you can imagine the. Uh, as an artist, I always try to find not just, it's not just about the story for me. It's about when I started to think about, research the, the subject matter, Windows Generation, um, the Tilbury Walker of Memory came out of a series of inst installations I did in Takeaways. I did one in um, Colchester, I did one in a restaurant in the City of London, uh, in Lloyd's Bank, Banking Group, uh, Migration Museum. So, I always try and find unusual spaces to instigate these, these sh showcase the, 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 the story. And um, I was invited down to Tilbury uh, in early last year, end of last year. And, um, and when, I got to, when I went to Tilbury, I don't know if you've ever been, Tilbury, is, Tilbury uh, Cruise Terminal is actually the terminal where the Windrush arrived in Britain. So it's, it's still there, the building's still there. And when I started to, when I went down to, when I went down to that location, I looked around at the building. I, you know, ting, my my body tingled, thinking, my goodness, you know, this is, this is the space where I, actually the wind rush arrived, and how, it's actually dilapidated. Not, not a lot's going on there. It's it's not very in good, great condition. But um, I kind of so the lady took me around the building, gave me a tour, and then at the back of the building, then I saw all the original walkways 
where the boat where people would actually come off the boat disembark off the boat and come into britain and this is one walkway which basically has not been touched since since it was actually made it's actually in the same it's 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 broken down it's almost a signifier to the, the state of Britain at the moment, where at the moment when our parents arrived, it's, it's dilapidated. It's a, if you can imagine a greenhouse on a bridge, it's about 55 meters long, uh, covered with glass. And, it, and it's, when I saw the building, I thought, when I saw the bridge, I thought, my goodness, what, I've got to do something here. It's just, it just said to me, because we, I've grew up hearing about, we're not everyone else, I, hit, I, I saw the pictures, but there was nothing tangible. There's not, nothing actually physical that we as a community can get hold of and say, oh, this is ours. And I felt that it was important to go to the bridge and, and, and try and make an artwork in that space because it, 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 it just felt so, um, not words I could use, spiritual. Uh, it felt like, um, it's almost like there's no memorial for us. And this is a, a, a living, it's, it's an object that's actually, it says so much just being in that, in that situation, in that location. And um, I felt that, um, so it inspired me to think about how am I going to um, get this bridge made? And I mean, you know, thanks to, you know, the Windrush Day um, um, fund that funded us and and um, Essex, I've got, there's a few people I want to talk, uh, I'll go give shout outs to the Arts Council for the support um, and um, some other um, funded, Estri, Estri um, oh, I can't remember them, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll give them all a shout out at the end. But they allowed me to actually instigate the, the artwork, literally covering each paint. There's about 432 panes of glass on that bridge. There are 72 windows. It must be the biggest artwork dedicated to Windrush generation in the UK. End of. Put it on. We put those images on the bridge. It's there, and it's permanent vinyl. It's there for the next two, three years. So it's not. I, I know it's a bit of a situation where we can't get get to it at the moment, but we will get to the bridge. And all the contributions, about 130 photographs sent. Yeah. Can from, we talk about? that the material that was sent in so okay. i know you yeah. had a call out um for people to send in photographs documents audio um about their family members who mm. were part of the windrush generation what was it like going through those materials oh my goodness yeah. what was it like it was like it was they were so personal people sent images of their grandmothers their fathers mothers um, pictures of christenings, pictures of uh, uh, tickets. People actually have tickets, um, um, contracts, work contracts. But when they got, when they came to the UK, what they were employed under. Um, um, we had, um, uh, we actually went out and actually recorded. So we had the recordings. There, there's actually 22 sound windows on the bridge. So you, so I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to build a picture of the amount of material going through that, seeing all those. Uh, it's almost like the bridge is like a, a, a national family album, of the dedicated to the Windrush. It's like when you go into your mum's house and you go through all the pictures and you see through the little, they go through the family and you look through it. Oh, is that what you used to look like? Is that what you used to dress like? It's like that, but on a sort of national uh, level. So people sent all the images of, so it's through. So, so it, to me, it was like, the first thing I said was, everyone who sent anything up to me, I would put it on the bridge. So all the photographs, all the images are on that bridge. Wow. So if you've, got, if you've got a parent or who sent things, I sent a call out and, and so, so I said, look, you have a presence there. However long we, we've got to get that bridge, you know, however long we keep that bridge there. You, you'll be remembered. You walk down the bridge, walk of memory. That will be, it's, it's that legacy. That's the, that's the thank you I felt I, and tribute I felt I needed to make and statement, artistic statement I needed to make. Mm. Um, and you said that obviously it will be there for a few years. So well, hopefully, hopefully. I I put the, <laughs> well, I, I mean, I put the vinyl, up. the vinyl I put on the bridge is like permanent vinyl. So it's, okay. it's going to be, it's light fast. So it's, it's going to be there a little while. 
And then I guess with the online preview, is there something beyond these, you know, years that it's up on the bridge that people can revisit it? Because I guess it seems like you've got such a wealth of just, you know, documentation. Like you said, there is the probably the largest um, installation um, mm. in tribute to the Windrush generation. Is there some way, in some way, that it can live beyond the bridge? I think it can. I think I, I, I'm actually thinking that we got to get the bridge. You know, I mean, the bridge, I mean, I'm ambitious as an artist. Anyone who knows my work, evewrite.com. If you go over my site, what site, I do walking drawings and big landscapes. Um, we have to get the bridge. Simple. We have to raise the money as a community or go for the, the, the various body. There's enough money in this country. We've got to get it because it, it's just such a, it's such a um, important, um, you know, it, and, and there's some other communities, religious community, like the Jewish community, they have, you know, Asfrich and there are various places they can go and, and sort of, um, sort of like, um, recollect their past and come up together as a community. And we haven't got that. And I think this bridge will be, for me, a, a real, um, a, a, an hour ahead or a, a destination for our community year after year, hopefully, that we can go down and we can change the images. And we can, you know, so it'll be a place where our community hopefully can go and just, you know, share our stories and talk about, oh, that, you know, and also bring it up to date, you know, see what new things are happening now, what things that we've done in, in now from that point onward. So I feel it's an important artifact and I'm really, that's probably my, my next mission is to get hold of a bridge. I mean, that sounds like crazy, but that's me all over, you know. <laughs> Um, I, think, I think it's quite clear, obviously, the impact that working on this installation um, from beginning to, you know, the stage we're at now um, has had on you. But what do you hope it will do for people that engage with it? I think it's important. I've always, um, first of all, it's, it's self-empowerment. You know, we've got Ethra Arts Foundation. We put that bridge together and um with our funders and we it's about we built that organized we, we basically um myself and ioni richards my producer we we came we we sort of had the idea about build, having a foundation in order to champion black british stories and um i feel that um this is the first of hopefully many other installations that i'll do in that space because i think it's and when it when i we did the takeaway takeover that was all about us as a community just thinking, no, we're not going to ask for you. If you're going to give us money, we'll take your money and we'll go for your funding. But if we can't, if you can't give us access to your institutions on a curatorial level, on a budget level, like your Tate Moderns and the rest of it, if you're not giving us access to those spaces, well, we'll use what we have. We'll use takeaways. We'll use hairdressers. We'll use whatever we will find the spaces. To, to basically make our, make our voices heard and make our, make our presence felt. And, and that was the, the, the essence of what, that was basically why I set about setting up the foundation because that's hopefully um, one of many in, in that space. But as an artist, of course, I'm working on other installations and I'm working on sculpture at the moment. So I'm always focusing on, on, on new ways of uh, new mediums because um, that's my practice. But um, in terms of this bridge, it just shows the power of art and the power of story. And I think, um, I'm hopefully the young people or the, my next generations or the two, three generations that's come after me, because I'm part of the first generation, the, the, the baby boomers that came, came the first uh, from Windrush, they'll be able to be inspired and take that further. You know, we start some things up to the younger to take it further. Uh, and don't be afraid of art skin. Don't be afraid of uh, championing your story into these unusual spaces, to be quite frank. But they're really important spaces. This is a landscape, you know. And, um, it, you know, curatorially, we control it. Budgetary, we control it. So in terms of our the way I, I like to think that it's important that... Um, we as a community, um, and not only a black community and a white community as well, because our history is their history. We're interweaved, we're interwoven. 
And I think that they have to come on board with what we're doing and champion it. And don't just, we don't, we're not asking you for anything. We just don't stand in our way. Just give us the space. And that's the important. Um, and hopefully this, this bridge and other works I do will let people understand that there's no limits, you know? Anything can be done. Can you see? <laughs>